Hello everyone, welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In our previous lesson, we have learned how to store multiple values into multiple data stores. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to store multiple values into a single data store. So to get started, let's go to our service script service and add a script to it. Call it data store. Put the following lines of code in it. On the first line, we're declaring our data store service, which we're going to use to declare our data store table. The name of our data store table is coins DSS. Here is our sample test data, which is a uh, data dictionary, which contains a key and a value. The value in, in itself is a data dictionary. Now to load our data store, we're going to need to iterate through this data dictionary one entry at a time. So to do that, we're going to use the for in pairs loop. So let's go down here and say for, um, let's call it name, comma, coins, in pairs. And the name of our data dictionary is data table two. To load the data into the data store, I'm going to use the set async function. So I'm going to start with the name of the uh, data store, which is coins, which is our declare variable coins DSS, followed by colon set async and then I'm passing in two parameters the first parameter is going to be the key and the second parameter is going to be the value our key in this case is the name which is these names our value in this case is this data dictionary here, which is coins. So in fact, I'm loading the whole data dictionary in for the value. And again, I'm going to wrap a P call around it. So let's declare local success, comma, error equals to pcall function and we're going to move the set async inside the pcall next we're going to check the success flag so if not success then we're just going to send out the warning message. And our warning message is going to contain the error message returned back from the pink call. So that is all we needed to do to load the data into our data store. Next, we're going to want to retrieve the data from the data store. To retrieve the data from the data store, I'm just going to pick a test entry that I want to retrieve. So let's say if I want to retrieve the data for this first, um, for this uh, player, Roblox Gamer. So let me copy him and I'm going to declare a variable local name equals to Roblox Gamer. To retrieve the data from the data store, we're going to use the get async function. So we're going to say, we're going to start with the name of the uh, declare data store, which is coins DSS, followed by colon get async. And our get async function is going to 
take a single parameter, which is the key. In this case, the key is the name of the player. And I'm just going to put a return statement here and wrap this inside, wrap a peak wall around it. So I'm going to declare local success, comma, coins, which is going to be our return data dictionary equals to peak wall. And inside the peak wall, we're going to have function and we'll move this statement inside the pcon we're going to come down here and check our success flag if success and we want to make sure we have a value inside our return data dictionary so we're going to say if success and coins is not equals to nil, do. Not do, but then. Let's add a few print statements. So we're going to print. Um, let's start with the name of the player. Concatenating that with uh, coins. Well, gold coins. So, so we're going to start with the gold coins. Gold equals to and concatenating that with the uh, the value of the gold coins right so the value of the gold coins is our data dictionary coins dot gold so coins dot gold is going to give us this value for the first iteration and we're going to do the same thing for the silver and bronze. Got too many empty lines there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna change the second one here to silver. And the last one to bronze. And on the other hand, if it wasn't successful or coins is nil, I'm just going to put in an else statement here. Print value not found. Okay, so that's all we needed to do to retrieve the data from the data store. So now let's play to test. So here it is. Let's take a look. So we have the, the test uh, gamer that we chose is the Roblox gamer. And he has 23 gold. 23 gold is correct. Silver is 71 and bronze is 8. Let's do one more test. So that, that was all correct. Uh, let's pick another one. So how about we pick the last player here. And play. All right. And he has 32, 12, 81. 32, 12, 81. There you go. So um, again, in our last lesson, we have used three sep separate data store tables to load our multiple values. But in this case, in today's lesson, we only use a single data store table and we were able to load the whole data dictionary into the value part of the uh, data store table. And this is how you retrieve your data dictionary from the value part of your data store table. Have fun coding and we'll see you in the next Roblox Studio tutorial.